Every good meal deserves a really good dessert. So at the end of our German meal, we're going to have a German dessert, Black Forest cake. Now there's a ton of different recipes for a Black Forest cake. This happens to be mine. In the bowl, in my mixer bowl, I have one and three quarter cups of flour, just regular flour, not cake flour, two cups of regular white sugar, three quarters of a cup of good quality cocoa, not the kind you make the drink out of, just baking cocoa. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. And I'm just gonna give that a start with my whisk here just to get it slightly blended. This is a really simple chocolate cake because everything goes in one bowl and you stick it in the oven and then you wait. Okay, I'm gonna put that on our mixer. and I'm gonna start it off on low. I'm going to add to it two room temperature eggs. One cup of vegetable oil. I'm actually using canola oil, that's fine. We're gonna put in one teaspoon of good quality vanilla. Then I have one cup of room temperature milk. And I'm gonna blend that pretty well. In the meantime, my oven is heating to 350 degrees and I have two eight inch baking pans. You can do this in nine, um, which I have lined with wax paper on the bottom and greased and floured. Now the last thing we need to add to this is some boiling water. So one second, I just put it in the same uh, container as my uh, milk. So here's one cup of boiling water. I just add that slowly so it's not spraying all over us. It's such a pretty dessert when it's all done. It's a, it's a wow factor cake. Okay, so give it a, a little bit. Okay. Had a little accident here. Some of it spilled out, but that's okay. Not the end of the world. And approximately one half here. One half here. I think I have more there. And then in it's going to go into our 350 degree oven for approximately 30, 35 minutes. I'm gonna start checking it at 30 minutes just to make sure. Uh, toothpick tested in the center, comes out clean. A little tap on the counter to get rid of air bubbles and off to the oven we go. One of the things that we're going to use on our cake or something I call chocolate doodahs and what's a doodah is what my granddaughter asked me. Well, if a cake is the body and then you ice it and that's the clothing, the doodahs are the jewelry. That's the decorations. So what I have done is I have a small, I'm just gonna show you a few. I have a small baking sheet here that I just lined with aluminum foil. You don't have to spray it. And uh, again, like I said, I'm only gonna show you a few. So I melted about an ounce of chocolate bits, semi-sweet chocolate bits. Uh, you can actually use milk chocolate if you want to. Um, and I melted it and I let it cool for just a little bit. I put it into a Ziploc freezer bag, which is much sturdier than um, the regular thin ones because if you squeeze too hard on the thin ones, they explode and then you have a mess. So I'm going to make some doodahs. So I put it into the baggie and I let it, pushed it all down into the corner, twist it so it doesn't come out this end. And then I'm going to cut a really small little hole and now I'm going to start making doodahs and you can make any shape you want I'm just making squiggles you can make letters you could make flowers you can make any shape that you feel like however artistic you are and these are going to be used on our black forest cake 
as a decoration because chocolate is good on anything and a black forest cake is chocolate cherry and whipped cream that's what makes it a black forest cake what i'm going to do with these now is put them in the refrigerator until they set hard then all you're going to have to do is lift up the foil and just peel these off and you can stand them upright you'll see when we decorate the cake later on here are our two cakes out of the oven they need to sit in the pans for 10 minutes before we can turn them out. After 10 minutes, I'll turn them out onto another rack. I'll peel off the paper that's in there and then they need to sit at room temperature till they are completely cool. When you think of a German chocolate cake, it's chocolate cake, it's cherries, it's whipped cream. Now, when you're working with whipped cream, you usually have to use it up pretty fast because it's not going to stay whipped and fluffy for a very long period of time. It will begin breaking down, become watery. So usually you put it on your cake at the last minute. I'm going to make something that's a little bit more sturdy that you can keep in your refrigerator and it will keep its shape a lot longer than just plain whipped cream. It will change the flavor, but it's a good change. This is an eight ounce piece of cream cheese, which I'm going to put in my mixing bowl. To that, I'm going to add a half a cup of plain white sugar and a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Pure vanilla, you'll get a better result. Okay. Now, I'm going to put this on the mixer and I'm going to, it, the, the cream cheese is pretty softened. It's, it's at room temperature, but I want whip it up with that sugar and get those two things together first. Then what we're going to do is I have one and three quarter cups of heavy whipping cream, which we're going to add to this using our whip attachment and really whip it up so it becomes just like whipped cream. So I'm gonna beat this for about 10 seconds. Well, that's pretty well mixed up. And I'm going to scrape down the sides a little bit. Now, I'm going to put on the whisk attachment. Start mixing, and as I mix, I'll start slowly pouring in the cream. get all that good cream out of there. When it's fairly well mixed, now you can start upping the speed. And you want to continue beating this until stiff peaks. nicely whipped cream. So, I'm going to clean up the decks here. I'm going to get the cake and then we're going to have the fun part. We're going to start putting our cake together. I took my cakes out of their pans after they were in there for 10 minutes and I put them on a wire rack to cool completely. Now they are cool enough that I can start putting the frosting on. If I tried putting that uh, whipped cream on it and when it was warm, it obviously would have just run off. So I'm going to take some of that and spread it on the middle layer. What I did was I got a can of a jar of maraschino cherries and I drained them and I rinsed them and then I dried them. Now you can use fresh cherries if you can find them. This is late in the year. I could not find them. 
You can use the canned cherries, which are the dark cherries, and that's fine too. But I chose these, and that's what we're going to use today. So, in our middle layer, we're just going to put a bunch of these all around. Look how pretty it looks already. You don't have to make a specific pattern. I'm not trying to make a pattern. I'm just getting them in there. Probably not going to use them all. There, that's enough for there. And I'm going to take my next cake layer and put that on top of that. And give it a good squish down. Let it get glued to that stuff. Now, more of the cream frosting. And we're just going to frost the top and the sides lightly. Now I'm going to take some canned cherry pie filling you can make your own uh, by cooking your cherries if you want to, but this is so much easier. Get it not quite to the edges. A little bit more. Now, another thing which I like to use is a piping bag for decorations. If you don't have one, you can just get a baggie and, and pipe rounds. That'd be okay, too. So much easier when you have four hands, but two will have to do today. Shake it down, try to get the air out of the bag, twist, and then this is the typical shell pattern used on cakes. If you don't know how to do this, practice. It's real easy. Okay. Now, Something I didn't do on camera, but which I did earlier, is I got another jar of maraschino cherries with the stems. Drained them, washed them, dried them, and then just dipped them in some chocolate. So now I have chocolate covered cherries. I'm gonna put one every here and there. And yes, I'm gonna have some left over, but that's like candy, so for munching later on. And then I think put a few around the bottom. We have our chocolate doodahs which we made earlier and I'm going to take these and put them on the cake. You can see I can lift up the foil and then just, just one hand underneath pushing it I can just push them off. And you can see that if you took a little bit more care and time than I did and, you know, really frosted the sides nicely, it would look even better. But I'm kind of rushing here on camera. Okay. There is our cake almost done. 
put another as long as I have some of the cream. I'm put some of the dollop in the middle there. I think I will add another doodah. Maybe another cherry. We're really gilding the lily today. And then last but not least, I have my plain and I have some actually German chocolate. And we're just gonna shave some chocolate over the top. How's that for dessert tonight? 